Good afternoon. Uh, today we will be discussing about the gyrocombus master and slave synchronization. This is our master gyro that means the gyro that is going to give the heading for all operations of the ship. So right now the heading is 134 decimal 5. Remember gyro is always pointing to the true north. Now different ships will have different types of slave gyro so one of the basic slave gyro will be your steering compass i will show it to you now as you can see this is the steering gyro it is showing one three four decimal five that was the heading that is being shown in the master gyro again next comes the gyro uh, slave gyro that is used for taking bearings how to synchronize it I'll show you right now I am standing on the port bridge wing of the vessel you can see so this is the bridge wing repeater this is a slave gyro repeater remember this gyro repeater all the gyro repeaters on the vessel has to be synced with the master gyro before the vessel is set for sail so no, in normal uh, gyro repeaters there will be having a synchronization switch somewhere here along with the power on and off switch so my uh, gyro repeater is a bit different this has a bolt arrangement here with a square head that has to be turned I think you can see it it has to be turned with a special tool then I will have to sync I can sync my gyro repeater with the master gyro right now the gyro repeater is unsynced the heading is 102 decimal 6 whereas my master gyro heading was 134 decimal 5 now I will sync it for you is the special tool for the synchronization I'll be pressing it into it and once it locks I will push it inside after that it is easy for me to turn the compass dry card remember the gyro is having a dry card so I will turn it to 134 decimal 5 so it is 134 decimal 5 So once it is 134 decimal 5 now I can turn my gyro synchronization switch on and this will take the feed directly from the master gyro remember this has to be synced otherwise all your bearings and even your compass error will be wrong this is how you will sync the slave or the gyro repeater and I will switch on the synchronization power and show you how it takes the feed so this gyro power switch is given in the steering column so i'll just turn it on and as soon as i turn it on i'll show you what happens you can see the gyro is taking feed from the master gyro and adjusting by itself so whenever you take a bearing or a compass error your heading will be correct so once the heading is correct all your angles and bearings will be correct this is how you sync a gyro repeater thank you